It's me, Failsbug, and I'm back with yet another review. And this time I have not just one Transformer, but two. And they are two awesome Transformers. Now, first off, we have Transformers Prime Thundertron. And he's awesome. I done opened him before, and he is an awesome, awesome toy. And number two, we have Leo Prime, and I ain't never uh, opened him up yet. It'll be my first time, and uh, man, he does look fantastic. They both do. I mean, it reminds me of uh, Red and Blue Superman, if you remember that from many, many years ago it was in the comics. Yeah, that was stupid, but these guys are awesome. It's red and blue and awesome. All right, so let's go and take a quick look at Thundertron's box. All right, so here we have Thundertron and hand to hand. All right, and we could look at the side over here and we can see his story, which says, hmm, let me see, um, ages ago, Thundertron swore that the creatures, and you shouldn't swear, it's not nice. All right that caused the destruction of his world would pay for their crimes. A visa or master charge? Never mind. Um, anyway, since then he has wandered space in search of his revenge. His ship is primed, his crew willing, and at long last, Cybertron is in his sight. Wow, he sounds awesome. And then, of course, we have his uh, his tech specs. And let's take a look at that. Hold on, let me lift this up a minute so you can see. And uh, he has the strength of a 9, the intelligence of an 8, a speed of a 6, endurance of a 10, a rank of a 9, courage of a 9, fire blast of an 8, and skill of a seven. Wow, he is awesome. All right, we'll go to the back and check out the back. All right, now here we have the picture of him in the back. And uh, yeah, for those who are paying attention, yeah, in the back you can see they mislabeled uh, his sword. It should show his foot as a clip-on um, claw, but they must up. It's okay. And we go to the side, and we got the awesome picture of him on the side right here. And then back to the front. And also on the front, and when I put them back in the box to do this review, if you notice, he is mistransformed. Well, we'll get that right in a minute. But also, Leo Prime over here is the same. He's mistransformed. I don't know why they decided mistransforming Transformers was good, but uh, they decided that. So, okay. And here we have Leo Prime. Now, Leo Prime, if we look on the side, he is a mighty transformer. I mean, look at those tech specs. He has the strength of a tan, the intelligence of a tan, the speed of a tan, the endurance of a tan, the rank of a tan, the courage of a tan, the fire blast of a nine, and uh, the skill of a tan. I mean, come on. The only thing you, would, you wouldn't you would worry about is if he shot you, he only has a nine strength. That's insane. So, but in the back over here, we could take a look. And it shows him with the weapons from the different toys that you put together. I think, um, let's see, what do you put together? You put together his gun, and uh, I know Swerve's gun, and uh, Smokescreen's gun, and then you make a big gun, but... Uh, I don't have smoke screen and I don't have swords, so that's not going to happen. Alright, but in the back it says something about he only sticks around to fight Unicron. He's an Optimus Prime waiting to fight Unicron. Awesome! Alright, let's turn to the side and we get to see the nice picture of his Micron. And back to the front. And there we have it. So, let's get to open him up. Check him out. Well, I got sticker him, put together his arms Micron, and we'll check him out and see how awesome he is along with Thundertron. Double awesomeness! Can't wait. All right, let's go. All right, and here we have Thundertron and 
Arms Micron Leo Prime in their beast modes and they look fantastic. One thing I want to show which is interesting that I didn't know until I opened up Leo Prime is right here on the propaganda that you get when you buy them in the name area instead of Leo Prime it says Sanda Trong. Now in Japanese Sanda is thunder and Torong is Tron. So actually it was a late change that they changed the name over to Leo Prime. It's very interesting. Alright, so let's take a look at their weapons real fast. So, of course with the Prime toys you had this. And if we can go and take a look over here, hopefully it focuses. Yeah. And the clear plastic, really nice design work here. But, it's lost in the toy. Because this part here, the fact that it has this, and there's no lock, and you got the little light in there. There's no way to lock it into place, like um, Ultra Magnus's hammer you could lock, but this you can't lock, so it really hurts the toy. So you have that on his side, and on the uh, Leo Prime you have this, and I'm going to have to use this book, because it has a hard time focusing on it, maybe because it's yellow. And right there you can see a sword. Very nice. Nice work that they did on it. Okay, both sides. And of course, being that it's an arms macron, it does change. Hold on a second, let me just change that over there. Now, it's very simple. Flip things down, this goes here, the arms come down, and the blade goes back. And you end up with this. This guy right here. And hopefully kind of focus on them a little bit at least. Yeah, that's better. And it's alright. It's a nice little robot. Not too bad. Awfully yellow. So move that to the side. Oh, and his name, his name is uh, LP. So I guess he likes vinyl records. LP. Alright, so let's take a look at the two of them together. And these are great. I mean, when you look at these guys, their face, and it really is just red and blue. And it looks fantastic. I mean, I do like the, the Leo Prime. I mean, it looks like he's on fire. You know, and really using that yellowish orange, really awesome. But over here, he looks like an ice lion, ice lion fire lion. You know, and it's just fantastic. Nice sculpting on him. Great things now for the side. Of course, Thundertron on the side has his uh, Star Seekers. Although sometimes I mess up and I say Star, star Searchers. And for Leo, Con, Leo Prime, you could put either the Maximal or the Autobot. And I chose the, the uh, Maximal sticker for him. But both of these guys, just the detail, fantastic. So, now that we have both of them here, I'll move Leo Convoy to the side. Or Leo Prime, I always say Leo Convoy. And I'll go and transform Thundertron for you. Alright, let's transform. Alright, now before I transform, I just wanted to go through the articulation. Of which he doesn't have much. I mean, his mouth doesn't move, his head doesn't move. These upper arms do not move, just the bottom ones, forward and back. And we have up and down here, and we have a swivel all the way 360. For the back leg, he can go up all the way here, down here. He has a knee, 90 degree, a little bit more 90 degree knee. And uh, he has swivel and ankle tilt up and back on his leg. But that's really about it. And his tail is plastic, so, you know, that's all you got. Not much, but it's it's enough. And he looks good in, ro in his line mode. I like him. So, let's go through transformation. And so we just flip his legs down, straighten them out, and then we're just going to rotate his legs around. These parts can tab in, just so you know. But uh, we're not worrying about that now. Turn his feet all the way around. And Lion Mode, he has three toes in uh, robot mode. 
he has the five and we take the back claw and we put open it up for his robot mode and for his peg leg mode we can just do this flip it around and just move the wings to the front and or we could take it off because we're going to do that later anyway so next we go and we're going to untab this part of the arm and we're going to move this back so we're going to untab and move this part all the way back um, another on tabbing, we're going to untab this back piece. You know, he's got a lot of tabs. That's why he's a tabby cat. Alright. I know you just groaned. I heard you. Alright. So we open this up and open up his arms. Just straighten them out and open up. Now as far as this, we just move the tilt this up and move the beast head straight down. Until it locks in like that. Now it's mistransformed like it was in the box. We can rotate the shoulders and move down the hands. And this piece here, these pieces, this side and this side, they slide down. They're on a hinge, you just slide them down. And you open up this part here. And this head, you want to pull his head until you get a slight little click once you have it. His head can move a little bit. Alright, so we have this, this. Alright, now we're going to rotate his his uh, arms to here and flip out the fists so rotate you get that clear blue on the top okay so he has his elbows the right way okay next piece here we're gonna go take these shoulder pieces and they're gonna tab in there's a little brown part see that hole these blue pieces tab in right there okay so tab in tab in alright we rotate the top part over here like this, come around over the shoulder and push that up. So same thing here. This part rotate. It's gonna come down over here, and then we just move that up. And there we have Thundertron in his robot mode. And this does look fantastic. I mean he looks powerful. Oh, one thing I forgot, push in the hips. I missed that. All right, so but he looks powerful. I mean, he looks like somebody. And take a look at this face. I mean, he has an awesome head sculpt, awesome detailing throughout the toy. I mean, just an all-around great toy, just fantastic. And uh, you know, back too. He looks good in the back. You know, just all around looks like a great toy. I mean, I really enjoy him a lot. And I love the beast mode. And I love his backstory. So for his um, foot, well, some people go and move the arms like this. And they'll say, look, he's got a parrot. And it does work as a parrot. But uh, if you want a weapon, well, move the peg down, move these back. And then you just snap this onto the side of his arm. And he's got an extra claw, which is pretty nice. I mean, so he's really fantastic, and that's the ice version, and then we have the fire version. And here is Leo Prime. And Leo Prime does have nice light piping. They blanked out his eyes, or they colored his eyes with paint, so Thundertron does not have the light piping, but Leo Prime does, and it looks awesome. I love the red colors, I mean, it looks like he really is on fire. I am fantastic work on him. And Leo Prime is one of my favorites. Oops. Peg leg does make it a little more hard to stand him. But he does stand. But both of them are fantastic. Very hard to choose a favorite. I would go with Leo Prime myself. Only because I love the character of Leo Prime. Or Leo Convoy. But I like both of them. I'm glad I have both of them in my collection. And I can't wait to get to the summation and some delicious transformers. All right, let's go. All right, it's time for the summation. Now, what do I think about Thundertron and Leo Prime? Well, they are both excellent. I mean, really, I. I would have a very hard time to say, well, you should get this one because it's so much better. Now, really, they're both great toys. They're fantastic. I love it. 
See, I'm a fan of the Beast Wars, and I really enjoy what they did with the character. And making a character that's based of an what alternative timeline, where it's the aligned timeline, that nobody really knows about, and making the figure for him was great. And then, well, the Japanese, originally, if you look on the Japanese, it'll say Thundertron, but somewhere along the way, they decided to change his name to Leo Prime. So it's interesting what happened. And I love the red one, and I love the blue one. I love the Star Seekers. I think that's a great concept, and I hope it comes back into one of the storylines of a cartoon, movie, something. I'd love to see Thundertron lead his, you know, Star Searchers against the Autobots and Decepticons. It'd be great. So, that being said, are they yummy? Yep. Are they shiny? Yep. Are they good? You bet they're good. I mean, look at them. It's so awesome. But with these guys, you got to be careful. You can't just jump in there and eat them. you got to be a sneak attack. you got to get them when no one's expecting it. So, uh, wait, let me just show you over here. If you notice, I have a uh, Leo Convoy, and this is the Flash Leo Convoy. <coughs> oh, that's good. You're not supposed to do that, buddy. Dang. Dang. You ruined the ending. Well, uh, good toys. Good toys. Uh, bye.